So when I first think of Bhangra, I think of uh, what it actually means. And so every Stanford Bhangra member, when they first come into Bhangra, the Bhangra team, they learn that Bhangra means intoxicated ninja. Like that is really the foundation of it. It was created to be a joyous dance that people de did at festive occasions. And it was created by uh, farmers in pre-partition Punjab. Now two-thirds of Punjab is in Pakistan, one-third is in India. And even in India, it's been broken up even more. Um, but it was created for farmers that used to like do um, very hard laborious tasks every day, like huge amount of toll on their body. But then this was able, they were able to come together and um, just be in joy with each other and really just come together and dance. <laughs> Just put in like Santa Barbara generally. I think we're probably gonna try to take the way on 101, but like up to you guys. Um, and then add your passenger to the chat and we can no keep each other updated on like, no spots and stopping for lunch and stuff. Yeah, the car ride was definitely one of my favorite experiences of Stanford so far. The drive is stunning. I think being able to drive down on that road trip and just look to my left and see such beautiful rolling hills and look to my right and to see the ocean was such a fantastic experience. So it's definitely kind of a once in a lifetime experience, but even more rare because I got to spend it with people that I care about a lot. It gives people like a really strong, like small group, like conversation time. So we decided to stop for lunch a little bit in the middle of nowhere. Essentially, we were looking for places, taco places, because I really wanted tacos after Sophia said we'd all stop for tacos. I mean, Sophia's then, getting her oil changed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dead. And then Rebecca. Then her car broke down, so we couldn't do that. But I still wanted the food, so we decided to stop at this random city that was down the 101. The food was fantastic. It was really, really yummy, but I think I was kind of craving something more, and I know Nathan always loves watermelon and brought two and we went back to the car we like slapped the watermelon to try and figure out i think which one was best i'm really happy that he has a food like that that can not only be eaten by him because he definitely would eat the whole thing if he could but one that he could share with other people too okay i'm ready <laughs> Tell me about this watermelon situation. Pretty good. Let's oh, close my nose. Yeah. If there's a snow. Taste it. Bro, she's like, oh, that's this weekend? Bro. What? This Like where this beach is. Barcelona. And the idea is it. Should we just walk We're in the water? Why are you driving? Who let you drive? So on the way on the way down we stopped at Pismo Beach, but just like goofing around, playing football. I'm terrible at playing football, but that's okay because the guys were all nice about it. Spike ball, whatever. When we went down to Pismo, that throwing around the football, uh, we actually got late to the mixer because of it, but I was, we were just having so much fun. We were just like, nah, it's okay. Like we'll get a little bit late to the mixer, that's okay. It doesn't really matter. It's just like, there's a big family. In that big family, we get to enjoy a lot of different things uh, together. Wee, this is so fun! <laughs> Guys, wanna go play some football? Let's go! And two of the dudes on the team also like fully jumped in the water, which was a bold move, let's just say. My boys on the they were gonna what fall off doing? if I didn't wear the belt in the ocean. There were no way I was filming the belt. No. They were gonna fall, my pants were gonna fall off no. if I didn't wear it. Um, and then 
took some silly photos on like the massive um, Pismo Beach sign. I remember that we went to the big Pismo Beach sign. It was really big and there were these big red letters and we all wanted to go in between the letters. And I remember Sonny climbing up there and we were all shocked and surprised to see him climb up there. Um, but then once the picture was done being taken, he could not climb down himself. No way. I survived. I don't know why am I like. No, you have to be so real. Bro, don't respond. <laughs> it's fucking no so before every competition actually happened it always starts the night before with a mixer which is where all the teams come together and there's usually kind of different games and um opportunities for the teams to mix and meet each other and i think it's really great because we get to basically just enjoy the company by the mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, each mixer is different, so, and I also had not been to Santa Barbara before, so I didn't know what to expect. So, at the mixer, we did kind of like a dance-off, um, where everyone was kind of like divided and mixed in with um, people from other teams, and we choreographed dances and we performed them, and it was really funny, because um, a lot of people were on teams that were doing the Bollywood choreo, which is like very out of our comfort zone. And I'm tossed into a group with predominantly, it was all girls from mostly Bollywood teams, and they were coming up with some choreo effortlessly. Um, and then they see this one guy, me, come in and they have to choreo around it. And they give me a very special part. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Running, they're running after me. And then I fall and I have the signature move. I'm sure it's gonna be in this documentary. I think they decided the victor based on who got the most cheers when they kind of went around and asked and, you know, all the Stanford heads were going ballistic. I appreciate their support, but I don't think I'm going to be doing Bollywood again anytime soon. Dude, I think I might switch dance fields to Bollywood. I'm encouraged, I'm encouraged. I don't know how the rest of the room feels. We feel like I feel, this. I feel encouraged. We feel like this. So <laughs> after the mixer, we went and we practiced at a parking lot in like the UCSB law school um, and just kind of drove to the fourth floor um, and set up our cones as we always do. We are practicing setting up stage. Here's how it's gonna go. We have intro video to set up stage. That is approximately two minutes and some change. In those two minutes, Sarah and I are gonna set up the big cones up front and in the back. I'm gonna set up the ones in the front, she's gonna set up the ones on the side and in the back. We're gonna try to set up in a minute and a half. You guys should have your props ready. And then pulled up Satya's car. We didn't have a big speaker and just blasted the music through his car with the trunk open. Uh, and spent several hours just grinding out formations, getting last minute adjustments done, uh, and making sure that everybody was on the same page before tech time the next morning. Drop like this, back line's messed up. Two, the mall lines, middle line is all over the place. Third is um, during this, people are not looking. So we gotta set that line as well. Uh, it was pretty bad. I think it was a little frustrating not having a great practice space right before competition. Like we didn't have mirrors, 
and we weren't able to take our shoes off, we weren't able to wear fits or properly use all the props or do jumps full out. We were literally just seeing cars pass by back and forth in front of us and there was so much ambient noise. Everyone's uncomfortable. You don't want to go crazy and injure yourself. Dancing on concrete is far from ideal. Girls were having a great time. <laughs> Guys, you look like you fucking came back from the dead. You know, like, at least like, even if you're confused, even if you're tired, you're gonna be tired. Like, tomorrow's gonna be a long day, all right? Like, you are going to be dead tired. Um, you can't show that. Like, you know, something that this team has held on to and done really well over its history and over the last couple quarters is enjoy themselves on stage. And so even after like the last moment, we're just like making tiny choreo changes just to make sure it's perfect. And then just making sure everyone knows where they're supposed to be. You're in the front, you're 25%. You're in the next one, you're eighth off the desk. You're between half and 25%. If you're doing jumps and barricade, you're half. If you're behind them, you're between 75% and In this and the parking lot, we kind of want to, uh, in my opinion, get the nerves out. You know, a lot of people was first time performing. A lot of people, it was like, we don't know what's going on. This is a new experience for us, competition. And in the hour, hour and a half, we're not really gonna change anything drastic. Really, at the end of the day, it's just to make sure that we're confident going into the next day. I, I really like the this quote that um, one of the former captains of the team, Amit, said that um, the run-through you do on stage is the average of all the run-throughs you've done before. Usually, like, one of our old captains, my cousin, in fact, Amit says that the competition run-through that you hit is the average of all your run-throughs. On that note, I got four numbers for you. Five, six, seven, eight! Tech rehearsal is, tech time, we call it, is the most important time for a Bhangra team. Um, and this happens because we, those 10, 15 minutes that we get is the only time we get to change around formations, change around drops. We don't really get want to change any of those things up, but if we don't have space for something, if the stage is slippery, if we need to figure out anything for the actual competition itself, this is what Subs, this is our first competition. We're gonna be excited. We're not gonna be able to hear the music. It just happens. So you have to keep the internal clock in your head. The beginning part of our segment where the subs is the most important is very problematic. Okay, so you gotta really count. A tech rehearsal is like a whole new set of variables. You can't really fully foresee when you're on campus prepping for this comp. Some tech times are smoother than others. I would say this one was pretty not smooth because we got there and the stage was totally different dimension-wise to what we had been told. And, and so we had to go talk to the rigging crew and they were unaware that it didn't match the dimensions and so it took an extra 20 minutes for them to get the whole crew. But I kept looking back and seeing the maintenance people trying to fiddle with the curtains and I was like, oh my goodness, what if they can't do this? Luckily they were able to, you know, they were very accommodating and very patient with us and were able to get the, um, the stage back up to the dimensions that we were expecting to have. But otherwise, besides when stuff like that happens, they're pretty strict on time. I definitely, I think I stepped on some toes that day because I was like, oh my god, we have very little time left and we need to fix these formations. And also, this is also a conference break, right? So it's like, oh wow, we've never been on the stage before, but now this is the time when we get to hit the full out on the stage and see what it actually feels like. <laughs> So then after the tech time, we get the chance to go into a classroom. They put um, the video of our tech time on the TV and we watch it and just kind of take notes of all of the mistakes we see, both like of ourselves and everyone else. And in that video, what I like to do is I like to go segment by segment. So in Bhangra, we have different segments. We pause it and raise your hand if you have any issues, any problems overall about what we're looking at as a team. Just oh, overall it information. If it applies to everybody. If it applies to everybody, then choreo as well. Um, guys, after this, you know the um, 
you have an English move where we go like this, move front and then swipe and then yeah. come forward. Make sure when you come forward, your sub is flat. I'm seeing a lot of people's subs still like at an angle. Make sure it's flat when you're lifting. Is that me? And so we give each other a lot of feedback and make sure that everyone knows kind of like the top two or three things to keep in mind when uh, we go on stage later that night to, to try to prevent the biggest um, errors from happening. I remember <laughs> I remember that there were some people who were not on the team in the back of the room and Josh, Josh just kind of yelled at everyone was like, whoever you are, just shut up so we can listen to this. Yo, oh, if yeah. you are not That's dancing, fun. I don't care That's what fun. team you're on, stop <laughs> talking. Please. Can you continue? During tech time, I think tensions were a little bit high. So some of us were making mistakes that we maybe normally wouldn't make. So we really wanted to be able to like look at that playback and not make those mistakes. Are you a soft girl? We're getting pokey. No. You can get empanada. Yeah. Empanada? I don't know. What about Taco Bell? I can be straight after seeing my personal sparkles. Guilty. Yeah. I know. Yeah, you. She is in the chunk. Okay. Yeah. I had a phase where I was Yes. So, um, we have to get into our vardis. So vardi actually means uniform, but uh, our basic clear outfits. Someone, he will get your bandana tied, and then we will figure it out. And so for. Um, girls and guys are wearing things that they have to wear. We just standardized our, our bandis. We just got new ones from India. Um, and so, uh, really the girls and the guys have to wear the same chadars. So, uh, in that, before the show, we have to get everybody ready. So, my friend, uh, Amol, Jazeep, and I were tying bugs on people. And these are special types of bugs called tulli bugs. And so, when you see that, uh, that part that's on top of the bug, that's called the bug. And so we were trying to, well, this was our first time actually tying the lip bugs on anybody. Then we have the chadar, which we tie in many different ways. In fact, we've learned three different ways over the past month. And this is actually uh, the first time that our team has girls wearing chadars too. So that's traditionally something that men wear. And so this has been like a learning curve for us, like learning how to wear those as well. But we start with that and that's something that it takes like two uh, helpers for each person to like kind of like get dressed. Um, so we all take turns helping each other put that on. First, there's three to four hours before the performance, everyone is helping each other get ready. That's the other thing, you can't, like, no matter how well you know how to do it, you can't do the whole thing yourself. Just because it's cramped and you're all cramped into a couple dressing rooms and helping pin stuff everywhere, you can't forget a pin, but it's always an extremely stressful time backstage. But yeah, a lot of it is just kind of trying to get everybody ready in time. It always feels like we have so much time at the beginning and then we're about halfway through and we realize we don't have, it feels like we're not gonna have enough time and then it all works out in the end. Uh, and this time was no exception for that. Introducing the team that does Pablo with the trees and the team that is gonna get you bouncing off your seats. It's Stanford Pablo, everybody! When I first go on stage, it's a lot of, oh God, don't mess this up. And that's kind of like the first overwhelming emotion. And then as the music kind of comes and like as your body just like gets into it and like clicks into that muscle memory, it's just like really euphoric.
sometimes when we were practicing and the music would start, I would just completely forget the choreography when we would start, but thankfully that didn't happen during the actual performance. Our teammates who aren't dancing but who are cheering on from the audience, hearing them yell is just like such a boost of energy. It's just really fun time. It's like everything that we've been preparing, preparing for, all that stress, all that anxiety goes away. And it's just pure joy. It's just fun. That's what it is. I mean, I saw people like have the time of their lives on stage. 